Day five. We are going to bike from here at Norbo Creek to Galloway, Wardner area, skipping Fernie, skipping a few things, but it'll be a good day. Let's do it now. been about an hour and a half that we've been biking and already we've covered the same distance that we covered yesterday through the Hornaday Pass. Cranbrook tomorrow. I just went ahead, I just had to stop at this river and I soaked my t-shirt, stay cool, wet my hair for the first time in about five days. Yeah, good day so far, it's getting really warm, so looking forward to some nice weather, drinking lots of water to stay hydrated and uh, yeah, making our way down the Bull River Road. Day five. This is what it's all about. Somewhere along the Bull River Road is that spring. I'm gonna get some water right there. That's amazing. Oh. Got off Bull River Road and are now taking a shortcut. I don't know what this road's called. Shortcut to Jaffrey. Just cross Little Sand Creek. Okay, it's about 6.30 in the morning and the ride has started day six. So, end of day five, we camped on near a lake on Haha -Ha Creek Road. And now we're somewhere between 30 and 40 kilometers to Cranbrook, British Columbia, Canada. On our way there, I'm gonna take the Cheap. Isidore Trail, Mayuk single track that our friend Miles suggested we do. Should be a good day. That's it. We have finished our ride in six days, Banff to Cranbrook. It ended up being about 368 kilometers uh, rather than the plan, 430. Did some reroute. Some of it was easier, some of it was much, much harder, but all in all, awesome trip. Joe's continuing west and I'm headed home. So thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks to all the trail builders who maintain the trails and roads. Uh, between Banff and Cranbrook. Everything was awesome. Great trails out here. Alberta and BC, lots to offer. And I hope to be back. Thanks for watching. Bye.